friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and I'm here today for a new sort of type of video. I'm not even quite sure exactly how to title this, but this is me getting up, getting ready with my new canvas, just sharing with you guys what I'm gonna do. Now, the reason I'm showing you this one in particular this is because one this is an older kit. It's discontinued, it's no longer available. I did have to pick this one up secondhand. <laughs> I lost my chance when it was in the store. Um, I kept thinking I was going to get it and then I never did. I, I was a finally able to get this kit um, in a D stash. And the kit that I'm going to be working on today is Fixer Uppers. If you guys know, I love Diamond Art Club's newer drills. They're square drills that are all completely 13 fasted. I'm a little quite obsessed with them. I have bags <laughs> of them. literally bags and bags of these drills that I have that are all 13 faceted of different packets from Diamond Art Club. So these are all from what I call maybe sacrificed kits. Um, I plan on using these drills. I plan on actually selling the canvases without drills at some point or even maybe just donating them or just giving them away to people. But as of right now, I, ha I haven't done anything with them. I just have them waiting in a box to do something with. But um, I promise none of these came from any like limited editions or <laughs> these are all like seriously overstocked kits that I grabbed for these leftover drills. So anyway, what I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to pull out the current drills in the kit and I'm gonna match bag for bag and see if I can replace every drill in this kit with one of the newer drill bags. Okay, let's pull these out. Now this box is actually not an original Diamond Art Club. Um, this, this fixer uppers box. I actually took this from the legend and made it into a box for it. Um, just because this one didn't come with a box. And so I'm, I'm just a little bit, you know, <laughs> um, what did I say? Neurotic about something sometimes. So I just, I do it that way. So let's pull this out. And, oh, I'm so excited to do this one. I thought this one would be so fun for the winter months. So here we have got our drills. And so I think the easiest to replace is going to be the three tens. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of 310. So what I have done in the past, I'll go over this with all of you guys um, with every color, but I'll just kind of show you is that I take the drills out as I replace them. So since I need eight bags of 310, these are the nine and 13 mix. I'm gonna put these over here and I'm gonna get my bag of 310s, just one of my bag of 310s. And I'm gonna count out eight bags, two, four, six, eight. So actually to put these in the bags, I cut them down into two. So there I have eight bags of drills. Now these are, it's funny, I feel like you can almost even see that I feel like they're just, I don't know, maybe the bags are just different, but they just, they're so much more beautiful and shiny. <laughs> love them. I love these drills. Okay. Then I would say, okay, we've got a big bag of 775. I'm going to pull out my blues. Now my blues really need to be divided into lighter and darker blues. But 775 is actually a very common color. So I'm back. <laughs> and 
for the most part, I found most of the drills to be honest. Um, but this, this is what I, I find really interesting is that you can really see a color different, different, like a difference in what the color dyes are. And especially you can see a difference in the colors between what was the older, um, before they made their own drills or manufactured their own drills. And now that they're manufacturing them. So I was going to just show this to you guys, but this is 775. This is 775. So this is the older drill this and this is the newer drill. And look at what a difference that is. <laughs> you guys just see, it's so interesting to me, the different color dyes. Now I know Diamond Art Club has some things they're working on to make sure that all of their dye lots are the same. Um, so I'm excited to see what they have planned for us. I don't know specifics, but um, that was just one interesting thing. I found a lot of the colors didn't quite match. Actually, there was kind of some difference. The 775 was definitely the biggest difference. But um, I uh, I have a few that I still need to find. And of course, I, d I still do have other drills in other places. And so I'm going to check those before I try to do any matchups to use a different drill instead. Okay, so it took a little bit longer than I originally intended it to just because I had to go after and look in my storage of drills that I'd already used. So I do have like my, my packets of drills that have never been opened before and I got most of my drills from that. But then I did have to go in and find some of the other colors. So you guys, out with the old and in with the new. <laughs> These are all the 13 faceted square drills and you guys, I cannot wait. Now, the grids have been shrunk for the 13 faceted gr drills on the newer canvases. This one will not have been shrunk for those drills. And so I will have to be mindful of the gapping and just make sure that um, I'm not putting the drills so closely together. However, um, I did this on another older canvas and I still feel like it looked great and it was super shiny. I'm really interested to see what this is going to look like compared to um, some of the other finishes just because the dye lot is so different on some of these colors. I think it's going to give it a totally different look and feel. Now, as I told you guys, I was going to talk to you a little bit about what I was thinking that I would do to enhance this painting. And some of the things that I was looking at doing is um, just especially on her, her outfit right here. Um, I think that this might be a cool place to put crystals or ABs and maybe to do gold right here. Um, I don't know, in the movie, I kind of feel like it almost looks like it could be like gold threaded um, her dress. The other thing I was thinking, I don't know if I could find it, but some quad cubes to do on her jacket. Now, if I could find matching crystals in the smaller size, I could just do the large ones up here and the smaller ones um, down if that was for, and then I could do them again on um, the front of her, her dress. That would just be something I was thinking that you could do that would be fun. Now, not all of the white spots in Anna's hair are ABs. And so, I'm sorry, you can't really see it because of the, the light right there. So not all of those spots are, um, are, are ABs. And I was thinking maybe I would use ABs on the white parts of her hair. And then another thing too is the snowflakes in the background are, I was thinking maybe I could use ABs on that. This Elsa's castle is kind of like, I don't know that you necessarily really see it because it's in the background, but it would be cool to add some more ABs into this one. So there is um, some 3611, or I'm sorry, 3811 in there. There is some 775 and these are all ABs that I know that I have so I could definitely add those in to differentiate the castle from the sky and um, you know as far as these blues down here go I was thinking that maybe I would add a little bit of AB in that just some shimmer and shine but that's kind of what I'm thinking as far as this painting goes. I'm excited. I think this one will be super fun to work on during these winter months. Now I hate snow and I live in a place that has lots of snow, but you know, this will be a fun way to like be working on snow while there's snow outside, I guess. <laughs> 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing a bit of my process. Now, I know that I'm a little bit extra with that, um, but that's just part of who I am, I guess. And I like my drills to be uniform, and I like the new shiny 13 faceted drills. So, I hope you guys will stick around, give me a like, and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in another video soon. Bye!